Sheldon Benjamin to AEW. Ladies and gentlemen, Russell Talk. Details have emerged on a former WWE star's contract with AEW following his WWE exit in last year. Sheldon Benjamin was one of the several names released by the WWE in September 2023. While the likes of Nick Nemeth, Dolph Ziggler, washed up, right? Mustafa Ali, Matt Riddle have all won major championships following their own WWE exit last September. Fans have been wanting to learn more about Shelton Benjamin, the golden standard, gold standard. Per Fight View Select, Benjamin and AEW have recently had conversations and discussed the possibility of him appearing for the company. For the company. The report noted that these recent conversations marked the first time the two sides had contact. With AEW and Benjamin not having talks upon Benjamin initially becoming a free agent. Fight Fool reports that the two sides discussed potential appearances as far back as one month ago. It's currently unclear whether or not Benjamin talks have been regarding a full-time contract. Fightful noted that they haven't learned whether or not a deal has been finalized. It was also noted that there were people within AEW pushing for Shelton Benjamin when there were rumors about his contract expiring in 2023 before he was ultimately let go by the company. Benjamin returned to the ring this weekend at the March 9th WWC La Hora del La Verdad show. Several stars have recently made their debuts as signed AEW stars with Will Ospreay wrestling his first match under AEW contract at the Revolution pay-per-view, defeating Konosuko Tashkari, uh, Tashida in singles action. Kazuka Okada made an appearance on the following week's edition of Dynamite, siding with Matthew and Nicholas Jackson of the Young Bucks. Shelton Benjamin going to AEW is a great choice. Also, Sheamus going to AEW is a great choice. Did I ever say it out of my mouth that these guys should not get paid by going to AEW, New Japan Professional Wrestling, TNA, Ring of Honor, we know that's the same as AEW. Go wherever you need to go to make the money. If you feel like Brock Lesnar right now, a race removed, you got some reports. He's not erased and removed. It's just going conflicting. But a guy like Brock Lesnar is a guy that I feel Bellator, if he could get a fight or two in Bellator, he can win. That would elevate his career to a point where he would be a formidable free agent for any company. And I'm telling you, if Brock Lesnar was in AEW, it would... You know what? Tony Koke Khan... I don't know how he is mismanaging having the level of talent that he has and not making more of a significant dent in the professional wrestling industry. He has Adam Copeland, Samoa Joe, 
Kenny Omega, Darby Allen, Daniel Bryanson, John Moxley, Cesaro, Jeff Hardy, although he may be injured now. And the list goes on. If I had the list right in front of me, I would say it right here, right now. With the talent that Tony Khan has, even in the tag team industry that he has, he got hooked. I, I'm, I, I think that he really needs to prioritize and invest a lot in how they are being utilized. Like the um, Blackpool Combat Club was led by William Regal a year ago. Now he's in NXT and they don't have a legit manager or leader. They're still going off of that. That just doesn't make any sense. The champion is Samoa Joe. You're telling me John Moxley is not the world champion? What, for, what, what is up with that? What happened with Kenny Omega? MJF, is he going to the WWE? Jim Cornette said on one of the podcasts that Tony Khan gets so much money, billions from his father, that it doesn't matter what wrestler you brought in the AEW it would still not make Tony Khan have respect from them for them. And you know that that statement is true by Jim Cornette because of why. He had CM Punk, and CM Punk delivered every promo on cue. He wrestled more than he's competed at the WWE so far. But CM Punk has had more of an impact at getting eliminated from the WWE Royal Rumble then the impact he's had for two years winning the AEW championship twice delivering groundbreaking promos then AEW Tony Khan has shown I don't know why he even gets on the internet and social media to drag the WWE through the ground about Jinder Mahal going against Seth Rollins or whatever storylines that they got going on because he does not know how to put together a good storyline or utilize his wrestlers if it was smack dab in his face. You got guys like Sheamus and Shelton Benjamin, Edge, Christian, Cesaro, John Moxley, Hook. I mean, you got so many people out there, even Samoa Joe being the trash paper champion that he is, old washed up. You got Hangman Adam Page faking leg injuries or it's part of the storyline. Swerve Strickland breaking his back trying to get the title. They can't even start off the show right with the promo like the WWE. They can't even follow WWE's format by having wrestlers come out without putting old, washed up, rusty Tony Schiavone just for men in the middle of the ring. Just so easy. No one can tell just for men. The hair dye. He should be the spokesperson. Tony Schiavone should be the spokesperson for Just For Men. Russell Talk. Russell Talk. Acknowledge me.